Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this video we're going to go over the new Battle Pass, which is going to be a collaboration with TMNT Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if anyone doesn't know. So it was released just a second ago. A second ago, so let's go over the video, then we go to the article, we'll do all of that stuff. Uh, um, yeah, let's start. Let's start by watching the video. Pizza time. You can see the 3D styles, I believe, over there. Going nowhere without this, dude. No. Dude. Crying cannot be defeated so easily. What did you do? Whoa. Where are we? Are we in a tank? Donnie, do you even know how to drive this oh, thing? No. This isn't exactly the turtle van, but it'll it looks do. so ridiculous. We're counting on you, Donnie. Now, let's figure out where it we looks are. so ridiculous. This is the TVPT 5051, by the way. This is a 3D style um, for that tier 10 uh, Czechoslovakian medium tank with a kawabanga on the gun and just the pizza and stuff. Oh my goodness, this just. Uh, this looks ridiculous. I actually like those things, so I don't mind, but I know a lot of people are going to be upset with this. I personally don't mind these ridiculous things. I find them enjoyable, so let's keep on going. And how to get back home. Who did all this? Look, it's our old pal. Enough talking. It's time for action. Time for the next <laughs> mutation title. <laughs> SD2. Any ideas? And make it snappy. I feel like turtle soup tonight. Don't worry, guys. I have a step-by-step -step plan for how we're gonna win. Uh oh. Dang turtles! Don't they manage to destroy us? Uh, Trash, this is ridiculous. Take it out. You're not getting away from us! Let's get this bad guy! Time to send these bad guys packing! Cowabunga! Are those the 2D styles? Cold steel. But those are the 2D styles. That <laughs> That's get what for. they get for poor planning. Out of my way, big mouth! Finally, I have the weapon with which to destroy the turtle. Is it a VZ? Is that the VZ-55? It looks so weird. 30! That was your last round! This is not the end of the mighty Shredder! You will answer for this! Time to find Krang! Where is he, Shredder? Behold! The weapon that will finally do away with our dreaded enemies, the Turkish. What is Things going aren't on here? Good. What's the plan, I don't even know. Finish them. This is April O'Neil, live from that the is a manticore. For Channel 6 News. Did what? Alright, let's get this show on the road. Gotcha! Perfect angle for a shot. Oh, okay. I hate turtles. <laughs> I despise turtles. <laughs> Cowabunga! Hurry up and get the tanks and your oh favorite Oh my heroes. goodness, this is Surf's this is silly. Power, as well as the tanks of their eternal rivals. Ah, oh, it feels so good to be so bad. So this is and the villains like. Is that the that is the the BZ right the BZ seventy five not the VZ fifty five right? Good to be so bad. It looks so weird. I can't really tell. Themselves. I am Lord and Krang, the Manticore, ruler of Dimension X. Moreover, you can recruit the indomitable duo and their tank. It's time to go S -D -D. toy to this I want this one. Video game. This and is a video like game. Colonial with a progressive two D style. Oh, hello. Is it, is it a crew member? This will be the top story on tonight's news. March to June, as usual. Um, so, yeah. 
New Battle Pass, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It, it looks ridiculous, it looks fun, it looks crazy. And this is exactly what I think the game needs. In my opinion, I think they should move on from the, um, you know, the more hardcore stuff. Most people want competitive, we want ranked, we want this. I actually think that if you do more light-hearted content, more funny stuff, it's going to be better. Sure, you can put the ranked modes and stuff, but if you abandon all of the fun aspect of a video game, then what is the point, right? So I'm really going to enjoy this one, even though I believe a lot of people are going to be trashing it <laughs> because of the how silly it is, how cartoonish uh, this battle pass is going to be. I'm going to enjoy every second of this. I'm going to enjoy every second of using this style on my TVP, on my SCT, on my Manticore, on all of my vehicles. Um, but yeah, let's go and check the uh, the article itself to see all of the details, I guess. There we go, Battle Pass Season 13, and dive into the TMNT Saga. So, Kawabanga Commanders get ready for an epic journey in TMNT Pass, featuring an incredible collaboration with the legendary Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe. Um, from March 6th, which is going to be next Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, through June 5th, so you have the usual three months per season. Join the heroes in the Half Shell and the notorious villains, they oppose in an action packed adventure. Um, progress through the season to unlock awesome rewards inspired by the TMNT saga, including exclusive progressive styles that we saw in the video, um, as well as the Turtle team and their opponents as crew members. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this stuff so far. So, event chapters, heroes, and villains. We have Shredder. Let's hear what Shredder has to say. I will get those wretched reptiles yet. Okay. Our main gun is damaged. It is working, but not very well. So this is this is Shredder talking to us. This is Krang, I guess. Just because I'm all brain doesn't mean I don't have feelings. <laughs> what is this? How many times are you fools going to fail me? Oh no. Why do we, turtles, have to stand alone against the forces of evil? Okay. Why do these guys want to make themselves dumber looking than they already are? Ricochet! Do they have special extra bouncy armor? They have a turtle armor. Main gun fixed. The accuracy is not perfect, but we can work with it. The question is, can we have it like the, um, like the witch crew, right? If you put them all together in one tank, will they have different voice lines, um, that they can do together or something? Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see, I guess, but these are the crew members that you can get from the chapters. I guess the other two crew members that they showed are going to be as add-ons or something, bundles in the shop. We're gonna have to wait and see. So, those are the heroes, those are the villains. And these are the stars. I can actually turn it around. This is delicious. This is delicious. Okay. This, this is actually awesome. It just looks ridiculous. Look at it. The turtle shell as the turret. The pizzas everywhere. It's just crazy. I like this one. What else do we have, though? Uh, we have the BZ-75, the Shred Tread uh, 3D style. T a purple tank with... It, it looks like a, a toy tank, right? It's just... It's just so weird, and I like it. Slice... And dice, I think that is what it says over there. My goodness, Shredder on the side. The gun with the the glowing barrel and the... Oh my goodness, these looks... That's, I love these, I love these so much. Uh, the fun one is the manticore with a weird eye on top. Is it going to reduce my camo because it makes it bigger? And increase the view range, right, because it's an eye? Uh, no, most likely not. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it looks so silly. I love this. I absolutely love this. I love all of those styles. Um, what is this one? Boom, Bebop, and Rocksteady special bundles. So, like I said, these be bundles that you can buy separately from the Battle Pass. You can get Bebop. Ricochet! They must have some special title armor! And Rocksteady. You go on without me! I need to go back to base! <laughs> okay, with their lovely, um, what is this? Do we get a, to travel around with the ST2 and the 3D style? 
get a short video. Let's add the music, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, so that was the foot cruiser for the SD2. You know, with the the weird mohawk and the rockets and everything. It's just, it's just crazy. I love this. I love this. And get the exclusive, exclusive Save April bundle. So I guess uh, this crew member is another. Just a second, I'm kind of in the way, right? Um, it's another bundle. Vision device is fixed. Everything is clear as day now. Okay, so the bundle gives you an access to a series of special missions, avoiding the amazing turtle power progressive duty style, 500 bonds, three training booklets for each nation, and other valuable goodies. It culminates in recruiting the fearless April O'Neil as a crew member, with brothers in, brothers in arms as a zero perk, and enough crew XP to train two more perks. So that is an awesome um, crew member. Kind of like, you know, all of the others, right? All of the others are the same. They do have zero perk brothers in arms and two extra um, perk slots, skill slots, enough XP to train two more skills. But there we go. There we go. All of the rewards of the season. All of the rewards of the season. So the base rewards, you know, Battle Pass has the base pass, it has the improved pass, the improved pass costs. Um, 2,500 gold it was last time. Hopefully it's going to be the same. Um, per uh, section, I guess, you have three different chapters, right, of the Battle Pass. You will need to buy three times if you want all of the rewards. Um, 7,500 gold in total if you want all of the improved rewards as well. But the base rewards are awesome, as is, you know, as you can see here we have... A 2D style. We have another. We have three 2D styles. We have some um, inscriptions, inscriptions. The 3D styles. One for the BZ75. The um, the weird shredder one, I think, right? Yes. Then you have the turtles for the TVP T5051 and Crank. Was he called for the Manticore? So, um, every chapter has 50, 50 stages. If you complete all 50 stages, you will get the level four style. So at first you get kind of a, a bland, boring style to have on the vehicle. The more you progress in the chapter, the more you finish the battle pass. It's going to become more and more awesome with all of the uh, the added things, right? So level 1 is going to have almost nothing on the vehicle, probably just paint and a, a little extra stuff. Then once you reach level 4 of the 3D style, it will become this delicious thing over here. Um, also, in the base rewards, you get 12 days of premium account. You get 1,875,000 credits, 66 reserves for free and crew XP, 3,000 bonds, which are always nice to have, 15 tokens that you can use to buy new vehicles. You can get more bonds, styles. Here's the tokens for a lot of stuff. Um, 12 pieces of experimental equipment. Always nice. Some directives, uh, training booklets, training guides, personal training manuals, 150 universal fragments, and uh, the crew members, Leonardo, Raphael, My Michelangelo, Michelangelo, whatever you want to call him, Donatello, Shredder, and Krang over here. <clears throat> so this is the base reward section, improved rewards. So this is if you buy um, all three chapters, if you buy the improved pass, like I said, 2.5k gold per chapter, 7,500 gold. Um, overall, right? So you get six emblems. Another six emblems, some more emblems, some decals, and stuff like that. 57 days of premium account, which will be enough for the entirety of uh, the Battle Pass, if you include the 12 days that you get in the base rewards. 900 gold. This is, the, like I said that in, in the previous Battle Pass, but it's kind of insulting, in my opinion, giving 900 gold if you pay 7,500. Because it's like... You know, you, they take a lot of your time, right, to finish the battle pass, and then they give you only 900 gold in return. I'd much rather they just remove the gold and put something else instead, because 900 is kind of insulting, you know? You will need to complete all of the chapters in three, I believe, um, battle passes. That is an entire year of battle pass that you need to complete with the improved rewards to be able to buy one chapter a year later. So, yes, that is kind of, like I said, underwhelming, kind of insulting as well, in my opinion. I don't think they should add the gold. Um, so, 4.275,000 4, credits as well. 
36 um, combat XP reserves, 42 credit reserves, which are always delicious. Like, you can take away the gold and just give me more credit reserves and, I don't know, bounty equipment or something. Because the, the gold, you know, 900 gold, you can't do a lot with that amount. So, yeah. More credit reserves, more bounty equipment, I think that would have been uh, better. Nine more tokens, that means you can get up to 24 tokens per season. I guess, right? Yes. Um, five per chapter in the base, and then three extra, that is eight per chapter. 24 in total. In this season, you get some standard, uh, standard equipment. You get three pieces of bounty equipment, which are always delicious as well. Um, training guides, personal training manuals, and some national blueprint fragments. So overall, lovely rewards, but like I said, they should uh, remove the gold, in my opinion. You know, maybe give bonds instead, maybe give bounty equipment, maybe give more credit reserves. Uh, but the gold itself is is rather insulting. So the items for tokens, the tokens that we were talking about earlier, right? Uh, updated the items for tokens section in the in-game store and adjusted the prices. In addition to the existing selection of cool vehicles, including the Kampanzer 07. Is it a cool vehicle? I don't know. And the Cobra, which is overpowered. You should get that one if you, if you don't want the new ones. Um, have the chance to add two new Steel Warriors to your collection. Each offers a unique gameplay experience. The TT-130M, uh, which is a tier 9 Czechoslovakian heavy tank with rocket boosters. Okay, I guess we're going with, uh, with collaborations everywhere, right? And the TS-60, a tier 9 American tank destroyer. Kind of looks like a side-scraping tank destroyer, right? But yeah, tokens accumulated over the course of the year. Don't forget to spend them by December 20th. After that date, they will be converted into bonds. So, as usual, three seasons, three months per season. At the end of the year, you'll, you will be able to buy whatever you want. Like, you can buy it whenever, right? But not after December 20th, so don't forget to use them before that. Uh, get the improved pass uh, for any TMNT pass chapter for 2,500 gold, like we said. So, it's not 2,500 for all chapters. It's per chapter, so you will need 7.5k gold if you want all of the improved rewards. And uh, yeah, you need to complete the battle pass as well, obviously. In-game store and premium shop also provide bundles featuring the improved pass for all chapters. Additionally, explore real money value bundles offering the complete improved pass and uh, for a maximum of 30 days, 250 gold daily for single battle played. This is actually a pretty nice bundle um, if you plan on playing daily, right? So you can buy all three chapters and then you get kind of an extra gold mission um where every single day that you play a battle you get 250 gold for your first battle <clears throat> which will like give you enough gold to buy the next season of battle pass like all of the improved passes so if you do actually plan on playing 30 days straight because you can't decide when you are and when you're not going to be doing the missions um, you can get this bundle. I actually did that once before, and it was it was very good. Uh, for me personally, I did play every single game. I did get all of the gold, and I was able to get the next season kind of bundled in this season. It is going to be in an increased price, but overall it's going to be discounted more than if you just buy it uh, with 2,500 gold. Total Tastic Adventure awaits. Journey through the TMNT saga, meet his iconic heroes, and get awesome rewards. So, this is it for this battle pass. All of the details we went over already. Um, it's going to start, like we said, uh, on March 6th. Going to go through June 5th. Three months, as usual, to get all of the levels, get all of the stuff. 3D styles are lovely. It's just crazy. It's just ridiculous. It's kind of a ridiculous uh, collaboration that I personally really enjoy. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I guess this is it. All of the details have been gone over. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think of this new battle pass? Do you think it's good, bad? Do you like the crazy kind of quirky style? you think it's not good because it's not even close to being uh, historically accurate, right? Yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Your thoughts, your opinions. And yeah, thanks for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tatals, have a good one, people.